Washington, it is one of the biggest animal hoarding situations that we've ever seen. A local animal sanctuary says that more than 150 dogs and cats were out in the middle of nowhere being cared for by just four people living with them in the desert. The sanctuary rescued dozens of the animals last week and now they're trying to help them recover and find a forever home. Team 12's Chase Golightly spoke with the team that helped rescue those animals. And Chase, first of all, where exactly was this campsite? The homeless camp was located in the desert just outside of Surprise on your way to Whitman, where it can be unbearably hot in the summertime. Now we're told the four people have been living there for about a year with all their animals, and it was the monsoons that forced them to find help. <laughs> This cell phone video shows the massive homeless encampment in the middle of the Arizona desert. Trash and tents littered everywhere. The home of four people and about 160 cats and dogs. It's just shocking and it's really sad. I mean, I went back to the van and cried. Pets surrounded by fences. We're living in a laundry basket. Ellie Smith, the founder of Sky Sanctuary Rescue, made the discovery. We received a message on social media asking for our help. One of those living at the campsite sending the rescue this video. Oh my God, it's very bad. Of them in the middle of a storm. Oh, he was enduring that monsoon with 160 animals with only a tarp to protect How him. With them. Truly, it was, it was heartbreaking. Asking them to take some of their animals. We were initially told that there was 60 to 70 animals. But the actual number was much higher. This is so much worse than we had expected. In triple digit temperatures, she and her director, along with the Maricopa County Sheriff's, started taking each animal. It took us two days. Bringing 56 of them back to their sanctuary for treatment. Two day old puppies all the way to 17 year old dogs. Fortunately, none of them had to be put down but there were complications. We have one that is going to have to get its eye enucleated, its eye removed. And she was pretty matted, so she got shaved down. The medical bills stacking up. Like two or three hundred dollars per dog. But the cost worth it to save these animals. Smith saying many of them are already up for adoption and ready to find their forever home. Now we asked the sanctuary, how can this small group of people get 160 plus cats and dogs? They say that they don't know for sure, but believe every single one of them were strays. Now, if you wish to adopt one of those animals from Sky Sanctuary Rescue or donate to them, you can find that information on our website, 12news.com. We're in the Alert Center. Chase Golightly, 12 News. All right, Chase.